Hello, welcome to another video from the Conscious Music School. My name's Simon Siddle. This video is part eight of our series, Conscious Life Hacks for Savvy Musicians. Number eight, celebrate your successes when attempting something difficult. Many people today limit their emotional reactions to just about any external event. There are many reasons for this. We could call it being socialized or even sophisticated out of a place where we feel that this is an apt thing to do. We can be desensitized by the hyper-emotional nature of media around us, by the barrage of the modern world and its chemistry to our internal biochemistry. We can even have our capacity or our will to emotionally react to external events attacked by the electromagnetics that we surround ourselves with. This is the very opposite of how we learn as children. The act of imprinting a certain behaviour in infants is achieved by association with good or bad feelings with the event. It's also known as reward or punishment. It's very simple. When mum says to you, yay, well done, sweetheart, and she smiles at you, you feel a buzz inside and you feel a desire to do that behaviour again that elicited that response. That's a reward cycle. Where has this gone in your life? If you simply say to yourself when you get something right, yeah, that was right, and then carry on, this is not having the same effect on the lower parts of your mind. Some folks don't even do that. They just try again. They make no mental or emotional distinction between a successful attempt at something tricky and a failure attempt at something tricky. If you're making no appreciable difference, how can anything below the conscious mind uh, differentiate between success and failure and choose to file one away in a place of things that you should be doing and throw one away to forget? No, you must be smug when you get things right. Truly smug even jumping up and down and shouting about it. That way your subconscious will know that was the best one you've done all day. Truly, make it obvious to yourself. You want to make it so obvious that if there was a dog in the room sat watching you, they could tell the difference between when you'd got something right and when you'd got something wrong. Uh, this speeds up the imprinting process by levelling more fundamental forces at your mind than simply the intellectual labels of correct and incorrect. Be sure also to note successes within failures. Don't, um, don't go crazy when you're in a critic, um, destroying elements of what you've done where there are worthy parts inside it. Be fair with yourself, basically. Be entirely fair with yourself. When you've played something truly shit, Say so. When you've played something like a god or a goddess, say so and feel like it. Remember, learning something new is supposed to be a pleasure. Simple, isn't it? Celebrate your successes when attempting and achieving something difficult. You like that video? Great, then hit the like button. And if you want to hear more like that, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon as well. The Conscious Music School is a brand new venture. I can really do with any help that you might offer, even if that help is simply posting this video somewhere where you think somebody else might find it useful. I thank you very much in advance for that. But more importantly, get involved. One of the missions of the Conscious Music School is to start deep and complex conversations about music, musicians and musicianship. So tell me in the comments below, how emphasized and dramatic are your success celebrations? Would that dog be able to tell the difference between you getting something right and getting something wrong? Or if you want to get really involved, you could come and check us out over at theconsciousmusicschool.com, where over the coming months we'll be releasing courses for musicians and music lovers alike. Finally, I want you to know that the series that you're watching here, Conscious Life Hacks for Savvy Musicians, 
is in fact a very vanilla introduction to the work of the Conscious Music School. I'm producing another series entitled Deeper Considerations for Musicians. But if you want to watch that series, I'm afraid you'll have to follow me over to another platform which is not so fond of censoring people the moment they stand outside of their narrow corporate mindset. Sorry, but that's the nature of the platform that you're watching it on, as much as it is the nature of the Conscious Music School to point out such awkward truths. So come over where the air is lighter. I've left some links below. And that's all I've got for you today. Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate your time and your attention, and I salute the conscious musician within you. You have a great day, and I'll see you again very soon.